check two one two. What's up everybody? Right now I'm talking about tractor and uh the way I have it set up with the machine. Uh just for this part I'm gonna talk about how you can select all four decks with these top four buttons that already say um A B C and D on it. But the next thing I want is I want for these um headphone buttons, which means you're queuing to come up when I hit these bottom four, because nothing happens when I hit those bottom four. So, uh, we'll go up to preferences. Go to the controller manager in the preferences. Then, uh, select machine four deck machine controller in machine controller out and then it'll bring up that list of all the things I've mapped to that so then I want to add on the mixer section where is it? monitor queue And it's on a device target, but I want it for one for each deck. So I go down to device target, make that one for deck A, duplicate it, make it for deck B, duplicate it again, make it for deck C, duplicate it again, make it for deck D. Go back up to A and put learn on. And press this button. Now it knows that that's what that one is. That CC note, it just learned it. Go down to the second one for deck B, and the third one for deck C, and the fourth one for deck D. And then move this out of the way. First one lights up. Second one lights up, third one lights up, fourth one lights up, but they don't turn off. And I'm pressing the button, pressing these buttons, these only lit up once because these are all on hold. All the monitor cues have this setting of being on hold. So that means that it's, when you when you hit the button, it's only going to hold the feature. So. Um, go down to uh, interaction mode and just change them all to toggle. Select the third one and the fourth one to toggle. Now, that's better. Now they all come on, go off on the screen properly, but they don't light up on the board. So what I have to do is that right underneath these, really anywhere, but since I just did these, I will do the same process I did of adding an in, but I'll add an out. Go down to mixer, same setting, monitor queue, do the same thing of changing one for deck A, and now I'm duplicating outputs. So now I have two outputs duplicate it for C, duplicate it. Now I have four outputs, all for those same monitor queue buttons. Since so now I have to go for A, corresponding A to A, and manually select the same thing. This is channel one, note 91, CC. Uh, note 91, go down there, select that one. Go to B, B here is the next one. Channel one. CC note 92. Go down to 92. Go to deck C. Deck C up here. Channel 193. And you guessed it. CC note 94. Those are all now the outputs of the same functions 
corresponding decks, corresponding notes. That way, as you can see, they're all off. When I hit them, they should all light up in the same way that all of these are lit up. And even if I take the mouse, actually turn it on and on, that means that you're getting the LED feedback. So this is a quick video on how to set up buttons, and this pretty much works with every controller. You just might have to tweak it um, differently. For instance, before I did A, B, and C up here and toggle between, I had A, B, and C down here and had to do a couple of weird settings for one to stay on and the other come off, but, you know, that's trial and error. So we have uh, DJ Divine Justice signing off machine. I'll have a more extensive uh, video about how to exactly use this in the Fordex on tractor. Practice and enjoy.